Hello and welcome to the introduction of the build design by Team 4. In order to show how we would re implement a resort reservation system for Borrego Springs Resort in California. The reason that our team design is less development intensive is because we took the proper steps in the planning phase to find open source products that would enable us to cut down on our development cycle. The platform of the RRS will be web-based. We've decided to develop using Acquia Dev Desktop, which integrates PHP, MySQL, and CSS using the Drupal framework. PHP with MySQL is allowing simple and quick implementation of a dynamic website while maintaining quality and performance. Drupal will allow quick development of the front end with maximum flexibility, while the use of the Drupal framework will allow developers to focus on design and content and reduce the schedule due to the fact that most of the modules are ready and we don't have to start from scratch. The RRS will be developing using software application or system as its ICSM common case. Keeping the system as an application and web base will maximize the flexibility and control of content by the customer or an administrator. Due to constraints in schedule and customer demand for early release in initial increment, the Agile method will allow small increments with fast turn. In order to maintain a tight schedule and have frequent releases of the application, we need to maintain close communication between the developers. This happens with Scrum events, which are iterative methods based on short sprints which suits this project well. The requirements were broken down from the original document provided by the customer. We started with 72 initial requirements, and after clarifications and additional discussions with the customer, a total of 18 requirements were added. This left us with a total of 90 top-level design requirements. Due to the Agile method used for developing the project, some of the requirements will change or be added to, more specifically, to elaborate, and split some of the requirements in order to make them more specific and testable. In order to see more information, see the attached appendix for full descriptions. The RRS UML diagram has three actors, common guests, current room owners, and common staff and managers who have special authorizations. In the diagram, the limitation goes higher one by one from right to left. That means that all the tasks at the rightmost side can also be done by everyone at the leftmost end. For example, guests who create Guests could create an account and log in, and the manager not only can create an account and log in, but also manage the report and price, and so on. The lowest one is common guests. Any guest who browses the website can create an account and log into the system. Common guests can only do the browsing for the available date and making the reservation. After successfully making the reservation, a system will automatically send a confirmation email. At this point, the common guest gets three more activities, tour reservation, equipment rentals, and a click to help button. After making the room reservation, a current room owner has higher level and can now make a meal reservation. In the resort, staff are divided into two kinds, common staffs and authorized staffs. Common staffs can help guests make all kinds of reservations through phone or email and pulling up bills and printing bills. Managers can do price, report, and an announcement and help content management. Three more activities for managers include name search, penalty charge, and backup copy generation. For our estimation, most people will be using Kokomo, but for us, <coughs> since we're using Drupal as a framework, we decided to go with application point sizing as our method. We assessed the number of screens, which came out to 28, number of reports, which came out to 7, and 3GL components, which came out to 5. And after finding out how many com components there were of each, we classified each element into simple, medium, and difficult complexities. Then we weighed each complexity level and got the application point. Using the application points we just found, and estimating the percentage of reuse in our work to be about 40%, we finally chose the productivity rate and nominal because of the capabilities and experiences with our team compared to the new information we'll have to learn. We finally come out to 5.8 person months. 
which is based on roughly a a 40-hour-a-week schedule. This is the schedule of the project plan, which shows up to and including the first increment. The title of the project is the first level. Indented out one more to the right is the second level, which is a general functionality that can be broken up into several third level tasks. Usually the third level task can be done in parallel, and they recognize all the small labor that still needs to occur. As we can see in the smart sheet layout, we have a second level task set up a security system and two third level tasks under that, such as sec a secure logon procedure and a system to ensure. Under that, you can see set up a user interface as a second level and then four more third level tasks, three of which can be done in parallel, which is what we'd like to see. The smart sheet can also be viewed in a Gantt style, where you can identify the critical path, which allows us to visually see the work that must be done over time. The critical path takes into account the start and finishing dates, as well as the predecessors, which display all the work that can be done in parallel to achieve the shortest path. According to our current plan schedule, we have been reading the deadlines that have been set by our task, and the smart sheet should be in the middle of designing and reviewing the architecture, including databases, which is exactly where we are. Furthermore, we delayed the development process slightly in order to come up with a more concrete information for the design so that we could spend less time in the development phase. For risk analysis, we've decided that we might not be able to complete the project over the time estimated. This is especially due to the clients being able to redesign and re-implement. This change, these changes occur after making commitments with clients on report, requirement analysis, and this delays the process. Another issue we'll be facing is the allocation of the tasks are not met with the skills of the developer. For instance, no one in our group has any Drupal experience, and that can cause the overdue of the original plan schedule. Based on low information on how the payment system works, the reservation functions might be at high risk. Some more issues are the development tools being troublesome to install and the possibility of client, clients not being able to participate in the requirement analysis before the response is due.